Many think that bacteria cells are mainly harmful to organisms, but not all are considered threats, but rather considered a vital aspect of survival in certain living beings, and in this case, help the plant cells with their nutrient cycles. Shortly, we shall discuss the parts of the cell itself. Most bacteria species have a protective layer known as a capsule. The significant aspect of the cell is critical in protecting the cell from drying and being engulfed by larger microorganisms. These small hair-like hooks that emerge from the cell are known as affiliates. These structures help the bacteria in attaching themselves to other cells or surfaces, and in this case, the lily flower. Without these structures, the bacteria could lose its ability to infect other cells. Next up on the list is known as a flagella. These hair-like structures provide a means of transportation for the species of bacteria that contain them. This can be found all over the surface or at the end of the bacteria itself. This helps the cell propel towards nutrients and the light and also as a defense mechanism away from toxic chemicals. This rigid part of the cell is known as the cell wall, which is composed of a protein sugar molecule. Its purpose is to protect the cell from the environment and hold the cell supplements, such as the flagella and the filling. Next up is known as the cytoplasmic membrane. This is a layer of proteins and phospholipids that encloses the interior of the bacteria. It regulates the passing of materials in and out of the cell. The structure is a barrier that is shared with all other true cells that interact with the environment and dynamically adapt to different conditions of the world. This is the cytoplasm, a gel-like cast composed of gases, water, enzymes, and nutrients. In the cell wall structures such as the ribosomes, the plasmids, and a strand of chromosome known as the DNA. Unlike the plant and animal cells, a bacteria cell does not have a membrane around the nucleus, but has a cytoplasm to support all the structures. Lastly are the ribosomes. These are the factories found in the cytoplasm. They translate the genetic information from the amino acids, which are the building blocks of protein. The protein are necessary molecules that perform the function of the cells and other living organisms. <laughs>